All right, guess who's back again? Look at that book. It's called Wicked Intentions. It is Blood Ties, Dark Visions, The Apartment, The Legend of Lake Manor, Summer Wind, The Haunting of Bar Barbie Marie, and The Truth Behind the Lies Laying the Northport Ghost to Rest. Uh, Joanne Myers. It says, Two Dads, we have a good read. Joanne Myers, Wicked Intentions. I got this on the blog, so uh, guys, I do read a lot. The Blood Ties. Audra Ripper has disturbing visions about a twin sister's disappearance, suspecting her brother-in-law, Doug, of Lisa's death. Police officer Tyler Parrott tries to help her when she law fails. Audra assumes Lisa's identity, plays amateur. Detective discovers a bloody scene. All is in what it's Seems as her life becomes a roller coaster, danger, heartbreak, and intrigue. Dark visions. When Carrie Reynolds starts having nightmares on her 26th birthday, she believes her dark visions can solve the 20 year difference of her father, disappearance of her father. When a young newlyweds, Bill and Gail, move into a new apartment, their lives are plagued with sightings of evil ghosts that threaten their marriage and their lives. The Legend of Ma Lake Manor. For second, Cassandra Lopez coming to haunting Lake Manor was like a mission. The manor is a self-employed, needed her help in riding out the home of specters, most trying to kill one or willing to stay for the love of sakes. Summer Wind. When the 29-year-old Ginger Duncan discovers the old mansion Summer Wind, She's mysteriously drawn to it. Immediately, the hauntings have a night negative profile and effect on her family. The haunting of Barbara Marie. Even as a child, Barbara Marie saw dead people when terrified, which terrified her parents, which no one was to talk about or her gift or curse. Barb keeps her secret to herself. This takes an unhealthy toll on her childhood. Two majors who are uh, those people that hump the, her home right now. Um, this is approximately 206 pages. I'm uh, two books behind, uh, so I'm, try I'm trying to get caught back up. I will get it, Joanne, I will get it to you. And I will get a Goodreads, Amazon, and Barnes & Noble uh, review for you. This book sounds like a great book. I mean, just even the looking of it. Look at that. Thing. It's dark and it sounds super cool. Thank you so much for letting me uh, ha get it. All right, guys, I got another book. What to do with the five points of Calvinism and really mean. Understanding the ba basic by R.C. Sproul. I got this from one of the sites on the internet. I am not sure which one it was. Um, and this one will probably be going to um, somebody I know. Uh, so I'm going to probably just end up sending it out to her so she can read it. But um, it's uh, not that big of a book. It's made, It's from Baker Book. I'm in the back, it tells you about the different things of the book, how they, you know, the, the readings and stuff. Um, I'm afraid I can't read that small writing right, right off the bat, but um, per it says perhaps you've heard of the reinformed theology, but you're not certain what it is. Some references to have been positive, some negative. It appears to be important and you'd like to know more about it, but you want a full understanding explanation. See, R.C. Sproul is author of more than 60 books the founder and chairman of Lenigor Ministry and professor of systematic theology at Knox Theological Seminar in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. That's a long word, but thank you so much. And like I said, I'm going to try to get these read. Um, as you know, the routine, there's it blonde at MSN.com, YouTube. Twitter, Google, Pennhurst, you name it, I'm on it, TSU, 
It's all going there today.